All right, we started. Hey, what's going on? What's up, everybody? Week two is here. NFL fantasy football. Fantasy all the goods. Football. All the goods for week two here. And for all you people, are all pissed off about your running backs. This is the week for them to shine. You know, we went into drafting fantasy teams this year with everybody saying focus on the running backs, and not one of them. Well, no, I'm sorry, one of them went over 100 yards. Shady. Yeah, two people over two. Well, if you count a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking running backs. Terrell Pyre, he was a bomb. Right, yeah. So start him at your running back position if your league lets you, but yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so uh, Shady, LaShawn McCoy was the only one who got it done, and how about that offense? Yeah, I got for two. Oh, yeah, and I might want to cut this sound, right. huh? We started. Hey, what's going on? What's up, everybody? Yeah, we're gonna have echo, 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 yeah, there we go. I just uh, echo, didn't, echo. I didn't mute my actual stream there, so there we go, guys. So yeah, um, kind of crazy week one. Um, I'm hoping that we don't see quite as many safeties this week. Three, three games. At safety, least three. Safety, safety. Started out the game. And safety. It, well, actually, the first score of the year officially was a safety on a kickoff. I'm like, well, wow, that was the first score of the year was Peyton Manning throwing up. Oh, that's right. We had the Thursday. <laughs> okay, the first score on the Sunday. Look at Mauer Morno retweeting our stream like a boss. Like a boss, Mauer Morno. How you doing? All right. Um, we want to jump right into pr predictions. We want to look at this. Oh, Marquise Gray is inactive today. Oh, that son of a bitch. Oh, I didn't know he so was. So is Rex Grossman. I actually didn't know. What's wrong? Wait a second. Oh, he signed on with the Browns? Oh, so the San Francisco cut him loose. I, I completely missed that. Poor Marquise Gray, former. Uh, oh, look at Brian Hoyer is hurt too. Yeah, <laughs> that that actually would uh, not even be notable, other than the fact that uh, he was a former Gopher. That caught my eye. Otherwise, you're like, who the fuck is Marquise Gray? I know, sure. So, all right, here we are, week two, kicking off another Sunday football. We're excited. We're yes, excited. Chris, we're late. We know. We're never late. <laughs> you're late. Actually, yeah, you know, I mean, we. We're like we're like Randy Moss. We play when we want to play. We yeah. we stream when we want to stream. So yeah, you know, that's just kind of something you got to deal with us. So I made a lot, of, made a lot of bad predictions last week for fantasy people. Suppose that well, the dog. I really made a bad one for him. Well, my choices were so bad. I had people challenging me. They're like, I I, I finally had to block a dude this week in their comments. It's just the like Jet fans are freaking relentless. When you oh my god. <laughs> New York fans in general, you're getting you're getting it from Giants fans now too because our whole we we said we said we said Peyton had never beaten Eli when really it's you know, the other way around. You guys, at least you guys listen to the video and watch. It. <coughs> That's the thing. Every you so often we're gonna throw in something that uh, we're just gonna start fucking with all you. Well, one thing you gotta understand is you know between us we played a lot of fantasy football. Jim's played a lot of fantasy football. You know, done, you know, been commissioner in many leagues. He's got like that that gut feeling for who to play, who to start, who to draft. But like when it comes to stats and stuff, don't expect us to be accurate. We're we're not like your ESPN pros and stuff. We're doing this for fun, and you know we're glad you tune in and watch and stuff. And you know we'll, we'll gladly tell you who our gut feelings are. But you know when it, uh, seriously, we're, we're we're probably just more more likely than not going to throw stupid like untrue quote unquote facts in there to see if you actually watch a show. And and some of you did because you caught some of that. So. Hurricane's mug is on Hurricane's desk. Nice. <laughs> hey, Chris Dog, what do you think about your Roddy White deal now? Yeah, don't start Mike Williams. He'll score mm. a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what other bad advice did we give last week? Should we we should have it. We should start with an apology segment every week. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, we don't apologize for shit. Sorry. It, like I said, this is just for fun. It, you know, we we do enjoy fantasy football a lot. Uh, we don't we don't claim it makes football season good. We don't we don't claim to be. You know, Sapphire, we don't even watch our own team. I know. Well, we watch Red Zone all day well, and other teams. Like, in, for the instance of, like, last week, that's a good thing. It was a great uh, distraction from our team because our team should have been yeah, blown out by about 60. We missed the freaking 78-yard touchdown by Peterson. Well, we, we saw a replay. We 7, saw it 17 times, times on Red Zone, though, because <laughs> every game they switched to showed the highlights. So, anyway. But, you know, the bottom line is we're here to have fun. We hope you have fun with us. But, I mean, if you're expecting us to be, like, you know, Serious and factual, you probably find another fantasy football show. Factual, you swap, go watch ESPN. <laughs> yeah, because they're, you know, they're they're not biased at all towards <coughs> Tebow. 
Evil. All I right. I know we signed that guy yet. I know. What a great fantasy commodity you got right there. Just I, going I, I on. I think you should go sign him. And all you'd hear is bring in Evil in Minnesota. All yeah. You'd hear. So, well, is everybody sick of Christian? I already know the answer to this, but you'd skip right past Matt Castle, huh? Oh well, fuck you! <laughs> Jim, Jim has a long documented hatred for Matt Castle, and Chiefs fans still have not forgiven him. I don't think. Although you're on board with the Chiefs this year, Alex yeah. Smith. They don't have Matt Castle anymore. Right. I've so, always been an Alex Smith fan. Yeah. So. So Chiefs fans, you can you can be rest assured you can be okay with junk this year. So. Especially this week. Should, they're they're going to beat out Dallas. Should we? Uh, should we do some our our pick segment? See how bad we can be this week. I think I did pretty good last week. I'm going to try to pick them all wrong and see if like that helps me out better. A that, lot of times you'll, I just you'll, you'll get that Jet fan on top of you fucking yelling at you again. Well, I, I think I was the one that said the Jets would keep it close. I said they'd get their ass kicked. See? I was, what, you know. Well, oh I, 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 was, I was realistic. Oh my they kept God, it close. How bad is the Patriots this year? Well. Holy crap. No, uh, I'm sorry to say, the Jets, they, they kept it close, all right, because the Patriots dropped every fucking ball thrown. I mean, did you see that number 17? What? I don't know his name, but number 17 on that team. Well, that's the one that the guy... You guys, freaking dropped, like, everything that was passed to him. That's the one the guys told you was going to be awesome. Well, he caught the first one for a touchdown. That's because they disguised After that, that, they disguised that play perfectly. That was know? a great play. Oh, yeah, that was a perfect play. I mean, that play ended up basically winning the, the game. As soon as it started downpouring, they might as well just quit the game right there and there. Wow. <laughs> it was ugly. No, I don't want Josh Freeman, Chris the Dog. Hell no. Although, I will say... Um, you know that was New England was is my is, is Josh Freeman an upgrade from Christian Ponder? I don't think he is. But currently yes, no. currently yes. But uh, Freeman's uh, terrible. Oh, did you see Carl Nix isn't playing on the line for Tampa today. So look out, Josh Freeman. By the way, he won't be. He he doesn't get to play against his former team, the Saints. Oh well. Okay, Mister. I'm gonna. I'll do this one real quick because I see it. David Wilson is a guy that he he knows. He has to do something big today, and if he doesn't, he's done. I'm actually in that same position. I've got to decide David Wilson or uh, uh, Daniel Thomas, basically. Yeah. And I don't want to go Daniel Thomas route. And you almost have to think that David Wilson, I mean, has to have a convincing game today. I think David so. Wilson, let's put it this way. David Wilson needs to have the day, or he's done. Yeah. So I, I believe he... He should, he should be have a strong day. It needs to at least be a clean day. He, he needs to not put the ball on the ground. I mean, that's a given. So. Roddy White's still banged up. So, Miles Austin's a big... You know, watching that da- that Dallas game last, yeah, last week, Miles Austin was a big part of their offense. So. Miles Austin always is a big part of the offense if he's healthy. But he's, he's rarely healthy. That's the problem. Can he stay healthy? He's a great fantasy guy to have, especially like in a flex spot, uh, if he can stay healthy. You can never go against Chris Johnson, but I'm sorry. And the guy is... I don't like Chris Johnson, but the guy is, he's got the talent. If you break, he can break an 80-yard touchdown at any point in time. Keyshawn Moreno, I think they're going to start Xing him out of that running back role. I think it's just a matter of time until they get Monty Ball up to speed, don't you think? I mean, he looked like the more, like they still trusted him goal line situation more, so. I'd like to have Phillip Rivers in Minnesota, yes. I'd take that. Even though in the fourth quarter we just got to put somebody else in. <laughs> Okay, Mr. That's Hurricanes, Mug, Joyke Bell or Lamar Miller for running back? Uh, well, Lamar did nothing last week. And uh, Joyke jo- Bell Joy really benefited from two calls being taken back from uh, Reggie Bush at, uh, on touchdowns. Where he, and, and I struggle with that, too. I almost pulled the trigger in picking up Joyke Bell this, this week. I held off because I think he m- that might have been a little bit. Uh, let's just put it this way. He's not going to score two touchdowns every week. So. Well, here, here's what's going to help Brady, guys. Obviously, all in all, when his name comes back next week, Adam will be in. I guarantee Gronk will be back next week. They got to After push watching this stuff, back. Yeah. I think you're going to see a whole different team when those three are playing all together. We'll see. And, and, like, and the young guys, I mean, it's not that they can't be good. It's just that, you know, I mean, Brady's in that frustration I zone he where... He drops every pass. So. I mean, fuck, you were right in the hands. And okay. he dropped them. Well, you know, he was being trusted as the, yeah, Thompson, the number one guy. He had an awesome catch in the, in the end yeah. zone. And I I don't know how they called that off of him. I mean, his body was sliding into the ball. Yeah. How did they call that? Well, I mean, I mean, I mean we, saw that, we saw that in week one with Calvin Johnson, too. Yeah, that was We had shit. different interpretations of, like, the same play. One going, you know, against Calvin, and then another one for a receiver. Was it Victor Cruz or somebody? 
who had like essentially the same catch deemed a touchdown. So I mean, these guys can't get on the same page on what exactly constitutes a yeah, touchdown. I'm so. not ever going to answer a question about Peyton Manning. If you're going to ask me if he should be <laughs> starting in your lineup, that's a dumb question. I mean, but, you know, let's get to our thing. So. You got to beg to to ask. You know, who is your other quarterback? And yeah, just you're thinking too hard. Okay, so Mara Monroe, I don't like Ryan Matthews, so don't ask me that question either. I was going to say, you just said you don't like Chris Johnson. You, you had him the year he went for 2000, uh, yes, though, didn't did. you? Yeah, and you know, but your your you rule is always, like, since. don't go after. And I, I've got that now. I've got the two, Mr. 2000 this I year. I hope Adrian Peterson can break year. that thing. I don't necessarily I don't need him to go for 2000. I want him to keep getting the touchdowns, and, yes, I would like some 100-yard days out of him. So. But, all right, let's, all right let's, let's do this. Let's see if we can get through this a little faster today. We're going to go through quick, guys. Although, although, first, let me get my graphic. I it's made a graphic. I gotta get it up here. Technically, we, we want to make this a half-hour show. We only got 15 minutes to do I this. I just said I gotta get it up. Get it up. I got it up. Okay, let's go. Wait for your wife to do that. <laughs> Mrs. Donovan, where are you? Okay. Uh, we're, I'm, I'm just gonna jump to this one. I don't care. It's right. It's right there. Uh, Minnesota, Chicago. We've lost something like We've nine lost. of our last ten at Soldier Field. It's, it's crazy, but you know what? Chicago, I don't think is strong. Yeah. I mean, they're good. But I don't think they're that strong. I don't think we're strong either. Oh, no, uh, no. The last time we won there, I think it was the time that, that I think AP ran for like 260 that day, and it was like in his second well, year. And you might see it again. So well, That'd be great. I'm going to take Minnesota in this game. I would love A, 260 yards from Adrian Peterson, and B, a Vikings win. But yeah. I don't see it. I'm going to take the Bears. I, I think you're going to see Ponder. Remember the week two last week? He took down the 49ers. At the Dome. I, I, I just don't see it happen. I think the Bears win by 10. That's how I'm going to go. Okay. Really? Yeah. Wow. I think. Okay. We'll see. Your we'll fan, see. Obviously, your fan starters are AP. I, yep. For, um, Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall and Forte. Here's a good question. Does Jerome Simpson have another big day? Our passing game, you can you can name all of our. I would never start any of our passing. Here's one thing. Here's one thing I will be very upset if it doesn't happen. Cordell Peterson has to, Patterson, excuse me, too much Adrian Peterson talk. Cordell Patterson needs to be on the field for more than five plays today. If you, if I had to choose a receiving person off of Minnesota every week, the only person I would pick is Kyle Rudolph. But he only had like one big catch last week. So what he's he get, inconsistent. Like so now this week he might go good. But if they get in the red zone, he's definitely. He had ten touchdowns last year. He had ten. T- I mean, it was up yeah. there. Oh yeah, he's he's he is the red zone target definitely. Well, all right. If they don't run the ball in St. Louis and Atlanta. All right. So this is the the return. Uh, no, not the return. I'm sorry. The game's in Atlanta, but it is Stephen Jackson versus his former team. Uh, and he's been uh, he's been named game captain, so he'll be up there for the coin flip against Chris his dog, former this team. This one's for you. I think Atlanta's a kick their ass. I think, I, I think they got a little. Um, I also I think see, they should have beat New Orleans last week, and I think they're gonna be a little pissed off. Yeah, that. I also see Atlanta winning um, again, probably by ten. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, Julio gets a touchdown and hundred yards. I'd love that with Roddy still uh, with the high ankle sprain. So yeah, Julio and Matt and Jackson are probably the only ones I can think of starting off that one. Well, the other side of the ball, the ageless one, Tony G. Oh, Tony awesome. You got to start Tony G if you got him, mm-hmm. right? I always think Tony Gunn's awesome in Kansas City. I don't know why. Well, <laughs> it was so he was long. there a long freaking yeah, time. So. Yeah, I know. Um, He's just one of those that iconic, like, St. you Louis still remember. side of the ball, I mean, you can, I mean, if you have Daryl Richardson, I mean, I wouldn't make him your number one starter, that's for sure. You told me not to start him today in that ESPN. I, Tavon Austin, I can't see it. Oh, wow, that can't be a real question. Brandon Marshall or Greg Jennings? Well, for this holy man it is. Holy <laughs> man, whatever the fuck the name is. Holy man? Don't start Greg Jennings over Brandon Marshall. Just don't do it. And I'm a Vikings fan. All right. So, uh, okay. So we're on to Cal- Car- Carolina at Buffalo. Is that what we're going to do next? Is that where we're going? Uh, we got one of these things like, like who cares? Again? I care because my backup quarterback, my teams, uh, my tiebreaker is playing in that game. E. Both J. of Manuel. these teams barely lost their games last week. Yeah. EJ Manuel kind of surprised me last week. He's better than I thought he was. EJ looked good in the second half. He really did. And uh, what really disappointed me, I do have CJ Spiller, and that kind of really pissed me off. Yeah. This game, I see a lot of D'Angelo Williams. Really? Oh, yes. Okay. There's a guy I'll never have in fantasy again. He just dis- uh, He's too much disappointment from that guy. 
Cam Newton will have a day. I don't know if he's great, but he'll have a decent day. <laughs> he'll have a day, good or bad, he'll have a day. And Steve Smith, that's another ageless one there. <laughs> proved, again la- proved again last week. He's he's back for another season, putting up. And I hope CJ Spiller can go crazy. Touchdowns. I hope for you he does too. You know, I I really see EJ Manley having a few touchdowns this game though. I've and got. I think he runs one in too. Here, here, here's a here's the thing of overthinking. I'm almost thinking of starting EJ Manuel over over uh, Andrew Luck today with with uh, Dwayne Allen being out and being the Miami defense. Well, see, the reason I'm saying this is the Miami part. defense is going to give him a little bit of trouble. Buffalo's defense is good. Yep, they're strong. Well, they're black. I'm not worried about Buffalo's Buffalo defense. Buffalo I'm worried about Carolina's defense. Buffalo was playing a good team last week, weren't they? Need to say fucking so so was Carolina. They were playing. And well, it was the Buffalo and New England, wasn't it? Yeah, it was New England. Yeah, they came back and beat them at the end. And that was when they still had Amendola. Yeah, I mean, they should have beat. They should have won that game. Yep. But you know, I'm gonna take Carolina in that game. Okay. Okay. Um, at Buffalo, now I like Buffalo to get their first win. It's gonna be close. Probably a three point game. Oh, here's one of our games. Here's a game. Washington, Washington at Green Bay. At Green Bay. I don't call as much. If it was in Washington, I'd see a lot better game out of this one. But it's in Green Bay. Yeah. It's you think, gonna be you think Washington goes 0 2 today? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it I think it does. I don't think RG three is gonna be the same guy this year. At least for the first few weeks, I don't think. He was a little tentative to push off on that leg early in that game and it cost him because they got behind. Uh, it was a good rally. Good rally when uh, when Philly got disinterested, but um, yeah, I think Green Bay wins that at home. They have Ma- to. Yeah. Now, this is an intriguing game for me, not only because it's my starting quarterback, but, you know, Miami's defense is pretty solid. Miami at Indianapolis. Dwayne Allen, the tight end, out for today. Um, We talked about Fleener and Allen being kind of the 1A and 1B, um, you know, tight end combination there. So uh, they'll be be short that. The running game is going to be tough. You lost Vic Ballard for the year in practice. Lost him in practice. Yeah, I'm on Bradshaw. He's decent. Okay, we'll see if he hits the field. I, I hardly saw him last week. Uh, my, my pick's Miami. You're picking Miami, I like too? Okay. I really like Tannehill. Dude. I think the guy's good quarterback. All right, well, I'm a little nervous here. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm really back and forth about starting Andrew Luck. Uh, would you guys tell me, would you start Andrew Luck against Miami's pretty stout D, or would you go EJ Manuel versus Carolina? Which way would this, you go I think this, this week? I the Mike Wallace uh, comeback here. Yeah, so there was a little bit of, was it from Wallace himself kind of grumbling after last week that they didn't get the targets? Tannehill, Tannehill uh, you know, he, he insists nothing's wrong there and that they'll be fine. But I don't know, is he another one of those guys that's going to bitch about not getting the ball? I, I agree with you guys saying Mike, Michael Vick will have a good year with Chip Kelly, but he's, he's not going to last a year, I'm sorry to tell you. That guy's been hit so much. Okay. He was limping off the field. I mean, he's done. I mean, that, that offense is insanely awesome. But, yeah, did you see how many open shots they left at their quarterback? They're going to they're gonna kill Vick. I mean, he's not going to last. Uh, maybe that's why I saw um, um, Matt Barkley being picked up more off the way ramps <laughs> in some of those ESPN leagues because they figure he's going to go down. So um, I take Miami. Okay, so I am I am gonna go. Uh, you know, it's at home. Indy kind of has that magic at home, finding way to w- ways to win games. So I'm gonna say yeah, that. Last week, uh, Andrew Luck's going. What's that? They had to do it last week. Yeah, they sure did. Um, Andrew Luck leads a game-winning drive down the stretch. Indy wins it a close game. All right, next game is one of our, one of our pick'em games. It's Dallas at Kansas City. Yeah, and if you haven't watched the Pick'em video, I think it's in the About section here of this video. Let me double check this. Uh, no, I didn't get it in there. Shoot. Okay. Well, if you go to the uh, Sports Gaming Universe channel, there is the Pick'em video for Week 2. You need to do it in the next uh, 30 minutes before kickoff, but you got to um, you got to pick the winners correctly of three games. <laughs> We don't want scores. Don't uh, <laughs> EJ or Luck. <laughs> They're getting it both ways there to start luck, EJ. Uh, at least two people say an EJ. It's a little bit more split than I thought it would be. Um, what are we so, doing here? Well, we're at our first pick'em game, which is Dallas at Kansas City. So anyway, if you find that video, 
and you pick the three winners. Don't bother giving us scores. It's just going to slow us down going through the stuff. Okay, you guys. We'll pick um, one of the one of the. We'll pick the winner. The winner. We'll pick the winner. We'll pick the winner. <laughs> we'll pick the winner winner at random of those who get all three games correctly. So that's the prereq, is to get all three games correctly. Then you subscribe to the Wholesale Business CN2 that's in the description of that video. And then if you if you got them all three, then we pick it random from all those people that got all three. Okay. And you and you win five jerseys if you're the winner. This is the so. this is for the guy asked me to Tory Smith or uh, Dwayne Ball. You take Tory Smith. Because Dwayne Bowe is yet to freak. I got Tor. I, I I have Dwayne Bowe. I picked him as one of my top receivers, and until he shows me something, I'm never gonna start. Him. It's exactly what I said to you last week. I had Dwayne Bowe again. Like I picked him up, or I, or did we trade or whatever? I ended up with him for like the second year in a row, where he really screwed me over. And I'm with you. Show me first. Show me that there's some production there before you start Dwayne. I'm gonna Bowe. take Kansas City in this game, and I think your fantasy starters are gonna be Witten, Austin. God, you didn't see nothing out of freaking Dez, Dez Bryant last Yeah, I was just going to say, Dez has got to step up. Um, Dez, I, mean, I, I mean, I think this could be a shootout game. Does Jamal Charles have a, have a see, decent I, game? See, I'm right here? now in the debate if I want to start Kaepernick. I, I almost want to start Alex Smith this week. No. Do you think Jamal Charles has a game? Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll, have, he'll have a game. He'll <laughs> have a great game. Yeah. He'll have a game. Will he, will he finish the game, I guess, is a better question. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's where it always is at. Um, I am going to take Dallas in that one. Close All right, game. Cleveland at Baltimore. Do we have that fucking button yet? We can decide who the fuck cares. It's funny because Baltimore usually doesn't fall in that category, but it kind of does right now. I, I, I'm interested to see how oh, Baltimore. I think Baltimore's going to kick their ass. I'm interested to see how they <laughs> respond to the beating they took from the from I, the Broncos. I strongly believe that Baltimore's going to kick their ass. It is their home opener. Cleveland's defense, we've talked about. We feel they're, they're we feel they're underrated. Uh, Baltimore wins this game pretty easily. Oh, I think so too. I like Cleveland, but I don't see them. Uh, Baltimore's gonna bounce. Think this will be a Ray balls. Rice game? You think he'll? Cleveland, Cleveland don't give him much running. Look at what they did the freaking yeah. Miami. They shut sure. them all down, dude. So maybe it is a Tory Smith day. Okay, so uh, we both like Baltimore in that Tennessee game. Houston. Tennessee at undefeated. Houston. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought they'd both be undefeated, even after one game? I mean, Tennessee-wise, you know. Well, Houston had to come back and win the game. <laughs> what was it, the 28th and 7? Oh, yeah. Well, they, they they didn't really start that game the way they'd want to. I'd look for a much... I think that's going to be the kind of game where, like, two minutes in, you're going to see a, you're going to see Schaub to, uh, to Andre Johnson, and it's going to be on. I think Houston routes I in this game. Don't. Terrible asking question right there. Wow, yeah, you're kind of you're, you're scraping the barrel for quarterbacks if that's what you're choosing from Hurricanes mug. Um, okay, so we both picked. Uh, did you pick in in the Houston Tennessee game? Uh, I think it's gonna be Houston. Okay. Uh, San Diego at Philadelphia. San Diego should be one and zero, but they blew it. Chip Kelly's offense looked awesome the first half of that game. What's our over-under on offensive plays for Philly today? 80? <laughs> what, did they do 90 last week? Did, did they do 50 like the first half? Well, the funny thing is, is like as many plays as they did, New England still ran more than they did in week one. New England ran like 93 in week one. Um, shit, well, I was going to say, Chip Kelly's offense looked completely unstoppable in the first half. Yeah. Second half, what happened? They just stopped. Playing? I, I seriously I think, think they got, got tired. I think, I think they got, got tired. That's they got the tired and they got, I mean, they, you know, teams don't intentionally do it, but when you get up that kind of score, you kind of, you kind of take it off, you really take the, off the, off the gas a little bit. Yeah. Minnesota's really good for that. Well, we don't get those kind of leads anymore. New England fucking, at least they're <laughs> the ones that just keep going. Right. Well, he's got it right. You just, you don't stop. Philly is going to win this one. You can't stop. I think really. they'll easily win this one. San Diego's not a team. That good of a team, I don't think. Yeah, Philly's at home. They're going to show off for the home fans with this new offense. Get Chip Kelly goes two and zero. Philly wins easy. All Detroit right, right at Arizona. This game intrigues me fantasy wise. I think there's going to be a lot of yards going on in this thing. Well, you got Stafford versus you got the two uh, best freaking wide receivers I think in the league in this game. You oh yeah definitely Megatron and for Larry sure. Fitz. He is, he is the one of the best. Yep. And he's proved that with terrible quarterbacks. So, uh, we, well, I don't think we talked about this on a show, but I talked about this. 
uh, you know, I th- heard this thrown out. He's statistically like right on Jerry Rice's heels at this point yeah. of both of their uh, their careers. And Jerry Rice had quarterback ratings, you know, obviously Montana and and uh, and Young of like ninety eight or something like that. Larry Fitzgerald has never played with a quarterback who had a uh, quarterback rating of above like forty nine for a season. So I mean, it's insane the numbers he's put up with with you, terrible you, quarterbacks. Hurricanes have got to go with Tannehill. Okay. I mean, the only quarterback he had that was worth anything was Kurt Warner. Yeah. So. Uh, I think Detroit wins the game, though. You think Detroit wins? Well, I think okay. they, they should have kicked our ass badly. Last yeah. Week. I mean, literally. They should have whooped our ass. I think Detroit should win, but I see Detroit doing a lot of stupid things. I see Sue costing himself yardage and money. and I, I'm i going to say Arizona wins. This might be my, my I, a semi-upset of the day. I'll pick Arizona in this game. I don't know if that would be an upset. All right. Honey Badger. Um... You don't ask questions like Greg Olson or Jared Cook. Jared Cook just put a huge game up last week, dude. Greg Olson can do some things, but you got to go Cook. Come on. Um, New Orleans at Tampa Bay. These are usually pretty good games. Yeah, I'm not sold on Tampa yet. You know, um, they, they, they're going to be a little pissed off about what happened. Oh, I think they'll be pissed off. I just am not sold they that they the can. the freaking Jets. They did. Goddamn Jet fans. <laughs> But we Car- can't pick uh, out Jet fans. yeah, Carl Nix is out of this game. I think that's a problem on the Tampa Bay line. I'm going to take New Orleans in this yeah, game. Yeah, for all you people who think Freeman's any good, he's going to have to throw five touchdowns this game to beat him. He has to. So you, you and he usually discuss. does pretty good against this team. Oh, I, I have no doubt that it'll be it'll be back and forth offensively. This will probably be a good game fantasy wise. I believe Larry Fitzgerald's playing yes. Yeah, do you know? I mean, I he think he was questionable at the beginning of the week, but I think he went to probable. Last time I looked. Yeah. Uh, we could double check that, I guess, before we go off. But I, I think, uh, I don't know. So, so who you pick in New Orleans? Uh, yeah. Okay. So we both have New Orleans in this game. I think Tampa. I don't, I'm not saying Tampa don't have a chance. I think they do. But. Okay. Here's the yawner of the day. Jacksonville at Oakland. Although, I guess I'm kind of interested to see how Terrell Pryor does week two here. Oh, he'll have 400 fucking yards rushing in this game. <laughs> Jacksonville is horrible. Okay. Answer me this. Number one Maurice Jones, Drew fan of the world. Does he show up? No, because th- actually Oakland's defense is really good against Ron. So have we kind of have we kind of seen the last of his heyday? I mean, is he? In, I mean, are we kind of? Well, you know what? I think if they keep Chad Henney in this game, which he is starting because of fucking Gabbert, that guy's terrible. Chad Henney will open up the run game for him. So yes, I think he's going to have a better game than he did last week. And this is see that's why I my, I have. A, C.J. Spiller or him. That's what I'm thinking right now, but I'm going to take C.J. Spiller. Yeah. But I do think if they had a quarterback, Mauricio Drew would be a really good. And Chad Henning will make Drew better. He will make Cecil Shorts better. They they said, this is why I should be starting Cecil too, watch this. They've been saying that uh, the last week, last end of last year when um, Henning was throwing the ball, mm-hmm. Shorts has scored, has, is averaging 110 yards and a touchdown. Jeez. And that's, you know... Crazy. Um, so, I don't know. I, 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 I always like Henny. <coughs> Henny, was, I think, was a good quarterback. Well, don't don't go against Michigan quarterbacks. That's all you got to know. So, um, so, who you picking in that game? That said, if Henny's playing, I'm going to take Jacksonville. Okay. I'm, I'm going to... out in the limb thing right there, I think. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go on Terrell... Pryor's feet. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Oakland and uh, run I, D- run BMC what? goes over to 100 today. How about that? Oh, yeah. There's both. I think, yeah, I think that'll happen. I, I you know I was really pulling for Pryor last week when he was in that game. Yep. So I, I was hoping he won, but he did. <coughs> uh, I was you hoping don't. I was hoping he scored a couple more times just to have luck throw some more. Okay. But uh, yeah, other than that, I really didn't care. Okay, these way. next two games, this is what blows my mind. Okay, our our, our last Why two are those next two games. games? Either one of them should be the Monday night game, and they should take the Monday night game off. Come on. Yeah, can we flex already <laughs> this early in the season? <laughs> Seriously? Let's start with the Monday night game. Okay, let's get, Monday let's night just get is that Pittsburgh out of the way. Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. Yeah. Who cares? I, I mean, I could see where the schedule maker would say, ooh, that's you know, division game, game that's yeah. those are rivals. Um, but you got the Manning Bowl going. I know, right? You it's, got Seattle and San Francisco going. Well, but you know, NBC wants their good game, too, and, you know, uh, whatever. Well, okay, then. 
the Manning bowls on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you put that down there? Right. I'm sorry. You know, I think you're going to see a different Pittsburgh this week. Oh, I think that was this horrible. You've got to see a better Pittsburgh team oh this week. God. I mean, you have to, right? Well, we don't have tickets available for that thing, so. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to pitch Cincinnati win the game. I, d- I didn't think Cincinnati played terrible last week against the Bears. I think they probably should have won that game. Um, they kind of shot themselves in the foot a little bit. Um, you know, I think you'll see a better Pittsburgh team, but I still don't think it's going to be enough. I think Cincinnati wins at home. I think AJ Green's going to run all of them. I think Cincinnati wins at home on that. Okay, so that's a Monday night game. So now we come back to our last two pick games of the week. Uh, let's do the Manning Bowl first. Denver, straight off a seven Peyton Manning touchdown passes. Seven against the defending champs, who are yeah. not what they used to be. Yeah, half this, this, this time. Can you get three and a half touchdowns? Well, he's not going to get three and a half. I can already tell you that. Well, you know what I'm saying. I, I think he gets three. I think he'll get three. Um, I think the Mannings together get seven touchdowns today. Oh. But I don't, think, I don't think one of them gets seven, so... So is Eli, Eli Manning going to finally pull one out against his brother, or what? If his running game helps him, if David Wilson does anything to help him at all, maybe they got a chance. Uh, Giants have to be a pissed-off football team. <laughs> My mic is not the wrong way, dude. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. You're not seeing the whole picture here. You, you, uh, it's, it's not the right it, I just was trying to get it out of the shot a little bit. Anyway, thank you very much, Tubby Emu. Okay, all I know is <laughs> the Giants are going to find a way to win this game. Well, like I said, they got to be a pissed off team. And um, I mean, if, you, if you think Tom Coughlin wasn't steaming all week, oh man, he had to have been. This is a fantasy. N- Football dream for teams right here. I mean, you got to start all the receiving core. Yeah, or new for the Giants. Eli Manning, you start. Well, you start. You so you start either Manning if you have him. And, and the thing is, is like this game. I think you know whoever. I mean, you're almost better off being the team that's trailing fantasy wise because you you know whoever's passing here. I don't know. Denver receiving core. I don't like your. I don't like say, your, you Don't know what you to use yet. Yeah. So you got to start them all. I don't like a running back on either side, really, nope. other than the fact that we've said that David Wilson has to have a big game, or at least a solid, you know, uh, mistake-free game, or he's done. But um, unfortunately, he's I don't he's have my... any freaking fantasy people in this game either. I have, I have Demarius Thomas. Oh, sorry, sorry, I, got, I got Orange Julius. There you go. You, uh, you, picked, up, you picked up Julius Thomas, so uh, I don't know. The two Thomases are going to fight for touchdowns. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, it kind of looks that way. But uh, oh, I remember they gave it to Witten last week. Oh boy, Thomas might be in good line <laughs> again. Eric Decker bounced back after an awful week one. I hope so. Decker, my man. If Decker does the same thing he did last week, dropping the balls left and right, oh boy, Peyton Manning will x him out fast. Well, yeah. Peyton Manning likes him though too. So right. All right, Epic Giants. Um. <sighs> As much as I want to pick the Broncos in this game, I think the Giants have to find a way to win this. Uh, Denver is going to be tough to, to beat every week they go out, but th- I mean this is just a tough matchup. I, the Giants find a way to win somehow, some way. San Francisco at Seattle. Last year, Seattle kicked the shit out. Was that four was a forty-two to seven or some freaking thing like that. It was they killed the one the one in Seattle. Yeah. It, uh, and, and, and this it, game what, is what, in West, Russell Wilson only threw for 170 some yards, but he threw four touchdowns. Yeah, it was <laughs> uh, turnovers and all this. Uh, uh, Seattle is a remarkable team at home. I mean, they play really well with the 12th man there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, Ka- Fran, Kaepernick myself. really looked good. I mean, you know. We, they said they're going to take his running game away. Look what they did. He well, freaking ripped them up and passed. We sat here and talked about this last week. We talked about the fact that he was going to have to do it with his arm, and he sure as hell did. He threw for over 400 yards, and he proved to me he can he can be, you know, he's he's, ac- he's oh, accurate. He's oh, accurate he's as hell. not start Eli, really? I don't know. I, I Apparently he thinks Denver's defense is the bomb, and I don't see it. But um, anyway. Well, I just pick two. Lynch and Morris. Okay, they're going to pick two. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so I need to make a pick in this game. You picked San Fran. Yeah. I'm going to say Seattle wins at home. And I think, if, you know, this is either going to be a good matchup. I have a lot of fantasy people in this game, mm-hmm. so I hope it's a high-scoring That's game. That's pretty much your, That's my your game. week right there yeah. is that game. And I'm kind of scared right now because I feel a low-scoring game coming on here. Yeah. And that's why I almost want to take Kaepernick out and put Alex Smith in because I, I, God, you just, but you can't bench Kaepernick right now. I don't think he's on fire. Right. And well, I, I think you know I don't know. I think it's um, it's going to be a very interesting game. Uh, it should be good. Uh, Marshawn Lynch has eaten San Francisco. They said, I mean, he averages a hundred yards, over a hundred yards rushing and a touchdown every time they play. Mm-hmm. Not every time, but majority of times they play. So right. And he's the only running back, running back that could take San Francisco apart. Why is that? Beast mode. Beast Peterson, mode did in Peterson full effect. Did Peterson take him apart last year? I think he got 100 on him, but I don't know if he... I know he didn't get 100 because, oh, remember... Because uh, Ponder had to do it all. That was, that, was actually a, um, that was actually the first big... Um, uh, uh, that's right, he sucked because that's when you traded him to me. Tight end. <laughs> Well, yeah, a few weeks later when he when he wouldn't hit the hundred, that that was, that was the first big game for uh, Rudolph. Yeah, he had two touchdowns in that game, I believe. So. All right, we're gonna do a real quick uh, fantasy questions. Only gonna be about five minutes long, and we're gonna go. All right, we call this start him or sit him. <laughs> After this message from Jamila the killer. Oh come on, really? You gotta save me forty four bucks. By the way, our breakfast this morning was sponsored by. McDonald's. I don't know if I. I, Nick crap. I don't know if exactly I'd say we're loving it, but uh, it's getting us through the show. So we're so freaking. We don't eat McDonald's really. I mean, but we were so freaking hungry this morning. Some, I had to eat something. Sometimes, like you know, production meeting for the show is like, hey, pick me up a, a breakfast burrito. I wanted to go to freaking Burgers. That's what I really wanted to do. Yeah, I, I, we just we just didn't want to like fall apart during the show as well. So, but we got we got. Um, we're gonna be doing uh, tailgate basically out in the. Out, out in front with the grill today. We'll be we'll be cooking up some brats and burgers and stuff. So so we'll uh, we'll have a much better game time. Food. Newton or Dalton? Dalton. I mean Newton. Sorry. Wilson or Newton? God, see, I mean I just I, think Newton. Or I Wilson like too. Will, well, yeah. You say because you, you think that's going to be low scoring. You're going to be sad if that game is low I scoring. Know, my that's going to kill old your week. Kill me right there. Ryan or Schaub? I think you're going to be a toss-up. I, that one. I think it's against Tennessee. I go Schaub today. Really? You're going to have a shoot? I think Ryan will have a better game myself, but that's fine. I don't think either one's a bad choice, personally. Will but. the Bucks beat the Saints? They have a chance. I'm not saying they can't. I mean, they have a chance. Uh, that, that You know, games in that division are te- are typically crazy. It doesn't matter who plays who. They're all pretty fun games. Uh, James Jones or Lance Moore, I'm going to tell you right now, James Jones didn't even see the ball last week. Yeah. Which was kind of funny because you, you I, thought he would. <laughs> I would go with James Jones this week. I think you're going to have a bounce back time with the, with him. I was really surprised when he never caught the ball last week whatsoever. Roddy White or Greg Jennings, considering White is hurt. I go Greg Jennings. Uh, yeah, and that I guess I got to go Greg Jennings, Austin. Um, I go Roddy White. Really? He okay. played all last week. As and a, with as his a, injury. As a decoy. Yeah, but he was Did wide open in the end zone that one time. I mean, still. Yeah. I it's just, all, it's all you know, with those two right there, you can do a toss. I don't know. I, I own Julio, so obviously I'm looking at it at that slant. I want it all. Uh, to Brian, Julio. Matt Myers, or Greg Olson, they <laughs> think that Myers will have a big game towards the end of the game. He'll be more bigger in the offense. They don't think right away. Hmm. Greg Olson... He has games. He doesn't have games. I don't know. We both. I go Myers. I guess I'm gonna go Myers in that game. Finley, Finley or Gates? Gates? Gates is too old. He can't do nothing. I anymore. think Finley at home. Watch out for that. I think that might be a good combo today. They said he had a great camp. You know, we're waiting to see it. But I still go with Tannehill or Prior Dalton myself. But what do you do? Tannehill at Indy. Prior. At, uh, yeah. Prior, you might have a running touchdown from though. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, prior, I'm gonna say prior in that. Ray Rice is the only good Raven on offense. Well, that's okay. not right. Tory Smith is. <laughs> Tory Smith's a good offensive weapon, dude. All right, so 
Bryant, <laughs> Bryant or Austin? Oh, this guy's this guy must be a Baltimore Raven fan. He's pissed off that he <laughs> traded away Baldwin. Hey, I would be too. Holy shit! I mean, he he, he did everything for. I mean, he I, was, he was half of Kaepernick's yards. Uh, I would go with Des Bryant or Austin because I he can't go two weeks without having nothing. Be a big Des week. I could see that. Although, oh. yeah, I don't know. Forte or Morris? Uh, I do. Forte. I probably go with Morris. Forte ain't gonna do nothing against the Vikings, really. Vikings still got good run defense, dude. If you say so. I didn't see it last week. Morris or Lynch? Oh, Morris and Lynch will down. Yeah, they will. All, All right. right. I think you're five minutes up. Anything else? I'm gonna take one check. Uh, Newton or Dalton? We answered that one, right? Yes. Don't need that shit anymore. Vic or Luck? Uh, I'm gonna have to say Vic today. Okay. Answer was. Do we need to do we need to check the uh, inactives one more time? Who else to marry Tom Oakland? No, that's my guy. Oh. Denver. What about him? The fantasy guru says he's gonna have the game of the week. Oh god, I hope so. I mean, nice DT. Come on now. Uh, let's see NFL home. That's gonna pull up the inactives one more time, possibly here. Find it again. Ooh. What? NFL looks to flag more players for profanity. That's just what we need. Really? What's what's one Walter on saying? Fuck yeah! Really? Oh no! Kyle Forbath is inactive for the Redskins. Oh, kicker. Who? Oh. John Potter will handle the place kicking doodles. 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 <laughs> Windows and doodles. I'm he's having gonna, a I'm having a great day here. <laughs> I'm having, a, I'm having a great day here. I'm tripping all over my words. My goodness. I haven't even started drinking yet. So uh, we may or may not do a stream of three. We'll try to get one in there. Um, we might be setting up for the... Uh, we, we still have to make a decision on pay-per-view. We're going we're, we're to do the pay-per-view tonight, I think. Uh, what do you guys it's, think? It's, it's, it's night or champions or it's, it's Sunday night. Actually, it's both. Probably what's what. Are you kidding me? We're, I'm going to have your goddamn computer right here. We do the pay-per-view. I'm going to have the other your Mac right here. Yep. <laughs> we'll watch both somehow. It'll happen. So, Raven or Cowboys D? Cowboys D. They show a little more than Ravens did last week. But, you know, the Ravens are playing Cleveland, so you could have a few interceptions. Here's for one for you, MJD or Pierre Thomas. I don't like Pierre Thomas, but you know what? There's another guy you didn't see anything of last week. Darren Sproles. No, I know. What the hell happened to him last week? Mm. He used the whole main offense of the freaking... Um, I'm going to go Maurice Jones Drew over Pierre Thomas. Doug um, Martin or Jackson? Which Jackson? I hope Antonio Brown does Steven absolutely Jackson, nothing I'm because I'm playing against him this week. Steven Jackson against his old team. Watch out for that. Cook, Lacey, or our Elite? What? Okay, whatever. Four Elite. What? I don't know. You're really, they're going to ask Doug Martin over Jackson? Doug Martin's still one of the top running running backs. I mean, yeah. You know, you can't go. You can't. Okay, put, Pierre you can't, Thomas. I'll take Pierre Thomas over freaking Ryan Matthews. So. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Any day, all day. All right, guys, we're gonna end it with that. Uh, enjoy your week two games. We're gonna go get settled in. Fire up the Sunday ticket. Yeah. We need some. We need some shit to go on here. Wait, I have no fucking. Football. I have no goddamn players playing. And anymore. all of mine are at noon. All of mine are doing. I I, I want to know if I'm sinking or swimming by three o'clock, and you're gonna just be getting. I think I got a couple people going. Here. You, you got to root for me at noon, and I got to root for you at three. It'll be all good. What do I got going to do? Let's get through here. Come on, fucking. What's up with this goddamn app? Okay, now look at all these flying in here. Fitz or Colston? Fitzgerald. Well, who the hell is the other guy? <laughs> yeah, you always have to ask and something like that. It's like, damn. Yeah, this fucking thing ain't working. Pile of monkey shit. Would you like to do an ad for the Galaxy X4 right now? <laughs> the Galaxy X4. Get rid of the cocksucker because the uh, iPhone's coming out again. Yeah, I get my iPhone and I, uh, 5S next week. This week. Whatever the hell week it is. <laughs> All right, guys. That's enough. We're ready for some football. Later. You, you probably are, too. We'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah. Uh, oh. If I can find where to turn this damn thing off. Where'd you go? Okay, bye. Monkey shit.